Hey everybody, it's Casey Castaway and welcome back to my Let's Play of Turok. We're gonna go on into level 6, a treetop village. So we'll go back here and there's a little cliff down here that you can get to. Let's see. Yeah. Get a minigun and a box of shotgun shells and then we can just continue on. This is a pretty cool level. It looks a lot different than the other ones once you get a little further into it. Alright. enemies on this level. Alright, so go through this. This one's pretty simple. There are some tricky jumps that you have to pull off. I think this, at this one, on the end of this one, at the end of this one there's some tricky jumps. This one right here is kind of hard. And there's another pretty hard one up here. We are stocked up on health and ammo. Woo! That was really close. I'm glad he didn't push me off the edge. So as I think I mentioned before, a strafe jumping gives you... Ah! a little more um, distance, but yeah, it's, it's harder to aim, sometimes. So it's kind of hard to see where to go here. You kind of just have to take a leap of faith right here. Be extra careful not to fall off right here. Just try to hug the edge. So, like in most of the other levels, you know, it's not going to be the enemies that kill you, it's going to be the balls and traps and whatnot. I'm not sure what my favorite weapon is in the game, if it's the shotgun or if it's the pulse or the plasma rifle thing.
right, so we just jump down in this hole. And if you're wondering how to get over here, that's, that's the way. This was this used to be my favorite level for a long time. And I think I like the ancient the ancient city the most. But this level's nice just because of the different scenery that you see. Oh my. Next level graphics, next level textures are amazing. It's like they superimposed real faces on the enemies, like kind of like they did in Golden Eye or something. Might have looked great back then, but not so much. Now. So now we can go through here. Fish. Alright, so it's kind of easy to get lost in this area. But you, the best thing to do is just to go into the water. And keep left. Or at least that's, that's what I do. I usually don't worry about going up anywhere else. And, uh, yeah, so you see that tree over there. That's where we are going to have to go. But you can go this way first, and you will get a new weapon. The alien weapon. I normally don't use it just because it's so... you have to be so precise with the aiming. But it's nice to have. So yeah, you might be lost for a little while thinking, where where do I go next? And you, you're supposed to go in that tree. There's an elevator. So here you have to be kind of careful, you don't want to fall off up here and we're we're in the treetop village now yeah. always good to save your game man I'm glad I'm done with the catacombs so there's not much really in the level yet you just have to keep Pressing on. But we will get to a key here pretty soon. I 
this is, uh, yeah, this is right. Wow. There's lots of different paths that you can take. It's not necessary, really. You know, if you can get some help and whatnot, it's, it's good to explore in this game. Okay, we'll just go through this where that gate opened. And uh, watch out for those. No matter how many times I play this, I forget about those traps. Pretty much all the traps. I just, just don't think about it at the time. Just like every other level in the game, there's a lot of areas like this that are kind of like mazes, so it is good to get out your map, just so you don't start going back into places you've already been. Kind of helps you navigate to the new places. There's a checkpoint. button we have to push in this. You don't have to go over here. It's worth it. You need tech arrows. That's real lava down there. We don't want to fall into it. I was watching YouTube the other day and I was watching people play. Turok 2 multiplayer, and it got me thinking about Rage Wars, which was another Turok game. It was just a specifically multiplayer only Turok game. That was really good. And, uh, I got to thinking, you know, it would be pretty cool if they released Rage Wars on the Nintendo Switch. You know, since they didn't to the multiplayer on the swings, they can do that. Alright, so this is our, this is our key. Seven key. Two keys to find on this level.
you can just jump back down there it's a lot faster. I really couldn't see that far ahead of you in the uh, Nintendo 64 game. <laughs> So we're going to go over here and jump down on that ledge. And we'll keep going down. You can just jump all the way down because there's some stuff down here if you want it. All right. So you can, I think, it's kind of like symmetrical. I think this, both of these towers on the side, it's the same thing. Nothing around the back of it. Sometimes they put items back behind there. I guess it's worth. We we can explore this. cells are good to have. Okay, we can save our game here. on into this. I'm not sure where that's coming from. You have to be extra careful on this edge. direction. Feel free to explore everything, you know, you're playing it. There's so many things to explore.
the greatest weapon, in my opinion. Maybe I'm doing it wrong. I don't know. I've never been able to really land a good shot with it. So when we hit this, it's going to lower, and there's going to be some enemies that are going to pop out at us. We don't have to go in there just yet, though. As you can see, the trees are destructible. Wow. I thought that was a pretty amazing little thing. They, one of the things you know they put in this game that was pretty cool ahead of its time. And then the second Turok game, whenever you shoot your arrows into the enemies, you can actually pull those arrows out, or just recover the arrows. It's pretty cool too. But then I wish... It, well... The arrows in this, in this uh, Turok are, aren't very useful. Alright, so I, I did take a little detour. I uh, just wanted to make sure I wasn't missing something. So we'll just continue on this way. Well, jumping over it doesn't work. Especially when you jump right into it. Definitely a good place to have tech armor over here. These guys are pretty dangerous. stuff. Gotta get all that. Just gotta explore. Ah! 
Just get out the map and find where you haven't been yet. Uh, it's best to explore that in that direction. So we gotta go over here. died enough as as it is. Oh my. Oh wow. <laughs> Somehow it ricocheted off of that and that guy. That's pretty amazing. cave area. any explosive shells you can find. Alright, so let's go on through here and get our key. Alright, and we are almost done with the level. alley -oop. Alright, so this is a little, I guess they don't consider that a secret, but it uh, allows you to get all those little goodies.
All right, and there's the end portal. back behind the portal, keep the grenades, and then hop way over there, and there's our Chrono Scepter piece that we need. And that's it. So uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe if you are enjoying the content, and uh, I hope you keep watching. And uh, yeah, I hope you uh, have a great rest of your day. Thank you.